Alicia, Brendan Santo went missing in an area on campus that was both dark and near the Red Cedar River. Now, had safe, uh, more proper safeguards been in place, some people say his death could have been prevented. MSU says they have put in fencing recently, but an online petition is asking for even more action. Balloons and hearts mark the last known location Brendan Santo was seen alive. The 18-year-old was missing for nearly three months until his body was found in the Red Cedar River, a mile and a half away from Yakely Hall. I mean, it's, it's tragic. I think it hit the community pretty hard. His disappearance was unsettling, and students like Maxim Jenkins feel like what happened to Santo could have happened to anyone. It makes you kind of nervous. It makes you rethink, like, walking alone places. An online petition started by Santo's family now has 17,000 signatures and counting. It calls for safety changes like additional fencing, signage, and lighting in dangerous areas along the river. I can see where they're coming from because sometimes when you walk by the river, it is rather dark. Michigan State University did put in this chain link fence along the river near where Brendan was last seen. The school says it's only temporary as they look for a more permanent solution. We started drafting up a bill to call on the university to install barriers, um, lighting, more infrastructure improvements for pedestrians to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Santos's parents can only hope no family will have to endure the pain they currently feel. In a Facebook post, they thanked all of Santos supporters for helping them through the past three months. The post reads in part, this gives us great strength and hope that Brendan's story and infectious smile united many, especially in these challenging times. We plan to work to support Brendan's legacy by focusing on the things he was most passionate about, which were helping people. Well, once again, that visitation is from 2 to 8 p.m. at St. Andrew's Catholic Church in Rochester. Reporting live, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News.